Tonight, the Navy is considering espionage charges against one of its officers, suspected of spying for Taiwan and possibly China. The officer has been in the brig since his arrest in September. David Martin at the Pentagon is following this. Investigators suspect Lieutenant Commander Lin started spying in 2012 when he was assigned to the Pentagon as a Navy liaison officer to Capitol Hill. In that job, he had access to details of the Navy's present and future spending plans. In 2014, he was transferred to Hawaii, where he joined the Special Projects Patrol Squadron, a secretive unit which flies high-priority electronic eavesdropping missions off the coast of China and other countries in the Pacific. In that job, he had first-hand knowledge of sensitive intelligence operations. According to heavily redacted court documents, Lin passed information classified secret to representatives of a foreign government. The documents do not name any country, but investigators believe he was passing classified information to both mainland China and the island of Taiwan. That would amount to playing both sides of the street since Taiwan is an American ally while China is increasingly an adversary. Lin was born in Taiwan but left at the age of 14 speaking only Chinese. He became a U.S. citizen and enlisted in the Navy, training to serve aboard nuclear-powered submarines. But then he switched specialties to become a naval flight officer in a reconnaissance squadron. Throughout his career, he had access to sensitive information, one officer said. The Navy showcased him as a coming-to-America success story, and he once told an audience, I grew up believing that all the roads in America lead to Disneyland. Instead, they led to a Navy brig in Virginia where he's being held until the Navy decides whether it has enough evidence to court-martial him. If convicted, Scott, the maximum penalty is death. David Martin reporting from the Pentagon. David, thank you.